unknown looking like was... they have a pretty solid draft hakori um also have a really solid edge they got they got decent amount of burst damage with the ancient apparition plus the timber saw chakram inside the chrono ember set up chains and stuff uh, i'm just wondering if it's enough damage because unknown have tanky heroes with the viper and the dusa and there's no strength heroes either there for the timber saw to punish in fights all teams are looking to uh, last pick supports in fact for this case uh for first for hokori you're talking about how it's impossible to see a pause four actually when i asked gary what what uh, plus force do you think could be impactful enough to be worthy of a last pick? They took it away the Marana, you know, somewhat decent, but Hoodwink and Nyx are all gone. That was a really that's nice fan of Marana. Out. Yeah, Marana's been the only one that's felt really good. Like Nyx is gone, Hoodwink is gone, Tiny has fallen out of favor completely. Like you you start to wonder what what that hero is going to be. Is it a, like a tusk? Do we go something along those lines? Is able to actually go along with this, you know, Ember Spirit, try and catch people with Snowball, have another save. An element there to play with because it's a pause four that also wants to play off lane right because it's, it's a timber saw lane so you want to be able to leave the lane not necessarily play in that spot with the timber but rotate into mid and do some damage there and then you start thinking hey who am i gonna be moving into it's it's a void spirit tusk can't really go in shards of void spirit he's just gonna dissimilate away so I, I think all of the elements here make it really problematic for that last pick for hakori We'll see. Uh, like I said, like most, a, a lot of the good fours are banned out. The ones that can deal damage. Uh, Mirana would have been sweet with Ember Spirit, Max Chains. You can always uh, arrow off that or arrow in the Chrono. You, you would, and you can also help the Timber Saw get his level so he can solo the lane early on. Is it like Lena Four? Like we haven't seen much Lena Four recently, honestly. That's really hard to play uh, without a setup stun in your lane. Yeah. Um, maybe like Winter Wyvern could be good um there's a lot of routes that they can go it just depends on this unknown last pick as well here the position five that they're gonna pick because as long as you can viper. oh yeah you're right it could be a potential viper five but it seems like such a good core viper game like you want them to it have does. farm but and viper maybe five game, actually Sacred's wrecks like... timber <laughs> sacred's like no 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 i'm not playing viper again Give it to give it to someone else. Prada, you play it. If we're looking for offlaners, anything that can deal with Void Ancient Apparition as well. Oh, you called it. It's gonna be the Doom off. Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna be the Viper position five. I, you know what? I dig the Doom pick here because now you have a Doom for the Void. Vo Faces Void hates playing against Doom. Like he jumps in, he's very vulnerable, especially if he doesn't have a shard to get out with. You just get doomed right after that. So you're like pressured to always go in and chrono. So that uh, you don't get doomed and just run around like a headless chicken. Hakori's just gonna like pick Rubik and we're gonna be sad because oh oh Shadow Shaman. Shaman. Okay. Hmm. A bit you more disable. Yeah. yeah. That's what you were like you guys were talking about that you're lacking. A way to deal with with Roboceta and his void spirit. a uh, bit of push as well, which you're kinda lacking. I mean it's mostly just lame push that you had. I think of Hokori's draft, it seems a bit of a Frankenstein draft to me, to be honest. Yeah, again, I have that issue with what does Shadow Shaman do when Timbersaw says, get out of my lane? Yeah. Can you gank? I mean, you can s sort of gank mid, but you're relying on Roboceta yeah. being out of, situa out of position. I agree. I feel like going to be like stacking that. camps for like five minutes or something. Yeah, that's the best thing you could do. Yeah. Mm. All right. So uh, final predictions here. Uh, Let's see. Let's see if we finally get a divide among the analysts. This time I'm going to force you to go first, one, four, three, seven. What do you, right, well, what do you... Hold on, hang on. I'm flipping a coin right now. Okay. okay, in five coin flips, I saw three green and two red. So I'm going to go with Radiant here. All right. Up to your paddle. <laughs> what, I what choose you red. <laughs> All right. Team red. What? There it is. One of us is going to be right. So, so but... And the final thoughts I would, would want to ask, is there anything you particularly... Let, name one thing you favor from the Hokori draft, 1437. Um, I like their burst damage potential and how much lockdown they have. Um, I think Shadow Shaman hexing someone on side lanes and A Blast coming out uh, with the Timber Saw, you could pretty much kill any hero that's not the Dusa. Um, and on the other side of Unknown, I really like the Doom plus the Dusa factor where this hero just needs to farm, right? The ease of execution, I feel like, is on Unknown's team where Hokori, they need to have all these like small skirmishes, getting ahead slowly but surely, killing off supports, leaving the Dusa till the end, and then get, get, getting the Dusa kill 
later on. It's like a, a lot of work, in my opinion, for Hakori's draft and need to be playing from ahead to be able to accomplish that. There you go. Saved via question, guys, as we are going to go into the game. Unknown versus Hokori. This is going to be the last game of the series. No, no, I'm sorry. He, he took your you question. You don't to ask me a question. No, I, I, I had the question for I had unknown. such a great answer for it as what, well. What, is, what? What is it? What do you love about Unknown's draft? Now I want to know. Now I'm very curious. Medusa. There we go. Wonderful. Let's get into game number three. Let's see if Gareth is right. <laughs> or if 1437 extensive analysis will be correct once again. <sighs> game number three underway. Winner takes all. Unknown versus Hokori. Take it away, Gareth and 1437. <laughs> 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 and we go. There we go. Chat wheel lines being spammed. As usual. But yeah, I. I, th I think when I see Medusa, I'm just going to back the uh, the Gorgon, get behind the Snake Lady. Oh, uh... Yeah, ride or die with the Queen. Yeah, and I, I do like that shift of uh, Viper into the Five. I didn't really consider it here as yeah, you know, we've seen it picked up little by little by other teams. You know, Noping I feel like kind of started that trend, and mm -hmm. pretty Boo. pretty good hit. You mentioned it's good against the Timbersaur as well, right? Yeah, I think uh, Viper eventually will probably just buy a Bassy and just keep poking at the Timber with a Poison Attack. <laughs> He's going to feel very uncomfortable just standing his ground. And uh, that would mean El Misho is going to have to stay with the Timber and help him out in the laning stage. That means he's going to be under level 2 on the Timber. So I like the lane setup there from Unknown. Uh, yeah. Unless the Viper just goes a little bit out of position, he's going to be okay. Well, that, that, that is the key, right? That sluggish, slow hero. You've got to make sure you're playing in the lane. You're not trying to get too deep contesting pulls and stuff like that. Unless you have the backup of your carry. In your face. Yeah, we could even see that situation where, you know, like we say, no ping, Panda Boo played it a hell of a lot. Uh, I, th I think it was four, five games in a row he got first blood in every single game on his support Viper. Something we definitely have to keep our eyes on, as it can be quite easy if he gets on top of someone. I think Garlic is going to get a nice free D ward there with that ward they put mm -hmm. on the low ground. It was out before the Lion. Li Lion didn't even have boots, just a wind so kind of slow to that hill. Just and now he probably thinks it's a ward there himself, so he's going to buy a sentry and oh, going to no. get nothing. So when, when do you make that choice, by the way? Like, I, I see this and I often struggle to think, when do I need to buy boots? When do I need to right, buy wind right. lace or whatever like that? What, what's the idea here for Witch? Well, you're up against an ancient apparition and you're going to need a lot of regen against that hero because he's constantly unloading his mana pool into you. Um, making you like half health and if that happens you're gonna feel uncomfortable and then also to maybe help your offlaner last hit or deny creeps is very important Something too. They got three roots on Hakori's side. Lumiere just snuck that yeah. one in there. Um, just walked I think the high ground. generally <laughs> if the po opponent position 5 is not a melee guy who's gonna chase you down you want to go a little bit more on the stats and the region. Okay. Windlees is good enough because it's building into your tranquil boots that you're going to buy anyway. That's true. I'm down there with a Doom. Something we saw a fair amount, you know, PSG LGD really showing off. Let's Doom bring on the off lane, that hand of yeah. Midas into the, the, the fast. You know, E1 as well. Blink. They yeah, played the mid, the carry and the uh, off doom. lane Doom. Such a great hero. Quite often, though, it feels like it indicates that you, you want to wait till late game. Or to top, they're chasing down. Angel's so uh, low. My Angel goodness. Medusa, but they're, they're going to turn it back onto El Misha, it looks like. The poison attacks, they are building up. Angel. Timber chain He's forward with rolling death. Angel, yeah, he looks like he should be all right there. Fine with a level one mana shield. He wants the first and blood. first blood. He wants it desperately, but El Misha, he puts down a tree cut through by Prada. Timbersaw's still trying to chase back the Medusa. Oh my get under her tower, but El Misha... Yeah, Benny Hill music coming through. He's running around the trees, and honestly, is he going to oh, try and get onto no, Angel again? Angel. They've got the chain and the whirling death, the first blood for El Misho. What just happened? I, I don't even know how Angel lost all his region like that to begin with, but that should not be the case, Gary. Like, having Mana Shield level 1 is also a disaster. Gets yeah. the, yeah, the tower. He goes to the tower to suicide and come back to the lane with four resources. Bottom, Wish getting chased as well. It's gonna be okay. Oh, like a great move by Elmisha for sure. But yeah, you're right. The the initial move of that lane, it must have just been spamming out these spells, hit level two a little bit faster than your opponent, and giving that XP to the Timbersaw, who's already level three now. 
And that's meant to be your, you know, double range lane with Viper support, who's putting pressure on. Yeah. Immediately and the taking Viper... off of that top lane for Radiant. But you can see Vitaly, even though he's level 3, like, he's kind of walking away because he's got that 1-1 one, one build to start. Um, so not enough reactive armor regen going at the moment, plus the Viper poison attack's a little bit annoying. Prada starts to be very wary of his own positioning, though. El Misho. El Misho. He doesn't have a TP this time. <laughs> Back into the forest. Oh, he can't Misho. run this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, fairy fire. Oh, oh he's juking. Oh, he's found by Prada. I wanted to kill, like, give that to Angel. And because El Misho dies here without a TP, this is like pretty disastrous for him. Bad times. Only level 1 I guess 2. Silver lining is the wave is in front of tier 1 Radiant. Timbersaw is going to get a lot of that. Then Timbersaw pretty good at contesting any pulls if they were to come. Looks like there was another Radiant wave though. To hold the lane back a little further. Oh, top lane. That, that was fun, Theban. How, how, are the, how are these other lanes going? <laughs> I've got the two spirits mid. That's a pretty, yeah. pretty even matchup, isn't it? Yeah, so far so good. RoboZ um, doing just slightly better. Analog dope controlling bounties and water runes. I saw Amisho take the water rune earlier top and Ember going bottom side. So very focused on the runes at the moment. So RoboZ doesn't have much resources. There's Prada dying again. Tried to pull, gets out in the open. And that is one of the big weaknesses of that position 5 Viper. You show yourself, you get jumped on. You are sitting duck. Oh, another reset onto the top lane with that one kill and Angel. He's just looking to get level 5 as quick as he can so he can get the hell out of here. He knows that the Timber Saw is going to hit 6 quickly in this game because he gets so much solo XP and uh, got that kill earlier as well. Right, even getting creeps out of a pull too. I'm sure you're going to hold the wave for him. So yeah, pretty pretty even mid lane. Top lane, like you say, Medusa's going to think about how to get the jungle. And Angel being chased down by Vitaly and Elmisho. That level one shackles It's going to chip away at her, but most importantly, it forces that Medusa away from the creep wave. Radiance top it's going to reach under a tier one tower though, so nothing, nothing drastic, nothing major lost. Yeah. I find this bottom lane to be quite interesting here, Gary. The Doom has six denies, um, doing better than the Void too. And that's kind of scary because you got this hero who wants to just max devour farm and you feel like his weakness is the early game, but he's doing very well in this laning stage right now. Is, is that because of his Infernal Blade pickup? Because I feel like during the major, mm. we didn't see Infernal Blade level no. until, I don't know, like level eight, you don't. nine or something. I don't think it's a good pickup because you'd rather just have the lower cooldown on the score shirt and just keep spamming that out because that actually harasses for quite a bit. Oh, I'm Misho, bottom. Yeah, sacred. Shackled up. Good move in from the Shadow Shaman. Something I was worried about is where El Misha would find his home, but I guess having a good start on Timbersaw means he can relinquish control of that top lane a little bit earlier on, just leave him solo, can't he? Yep, that's why Timber gets first phase ban. Not only is it a counter to uh, most strength heroes, but the ability to be able to solo in the offlane against two heroes come out ahead and have kill threat on them is unparalleled. So you just get this Shadow Shaman who has a free game, can go anywhere he wants, gank anywhere he wants, and he gets that one juicy doom kill bottom. Let's get spotted on his way towards mid though. Our it's controlling the runes. Exactly what he's up to. Yeah, and make sure Robozu has to go up to top, which means analog just slight chains. Bottom. And Rune spawns down bottom. As Robozu, he oh, gets him. The astral steps finish off the Ember Spirit, and bottom rune is being guarded by Widge. So he's going to grab a DD guys. rune and maybe even be able to rotate. He was two mana off of Remnant there. That's why he died. Mm. He wanted to Remnant bottom side and take the rune, but he did not have enough mana. This one was disappointing for that Ember Spirit for sure. And that was, a, again, just a dead even lane and a, a solo kill out of that Void Spirit. Level seven and a half now. Analogs like it was. No rune here anymore. I'm going to try and run down towards bottom. Maybe I can fish that main for a kill. Yeah, you see the Lion, the Doom have moved across. But a Hex comes immediately out of Weird knowing that action was arriving. Yeah, I think okay. that uh, Shadow Shaman gank earlier has relinquished a lot of pressure. Lumiere now level almost level five and a half. He's setting up bottom once again. 
Ember doesn't have, does have a TP available too because he remnanted back to mid lane. If he needs to yeah, TP down here. Yeah, that's disables. Mm -hmm. Started off with a cold feet into Almisha is pairing of spells. Lying down again, but it doesn't really stop Sacred. Still devouring and gathering up a, a hell of a lot of gold down in that bottom lane. And like you were mentioning, Angel has just left the top lane. Farming jungle, top CS and top of the net worth only to be accelerated even faster. <laughs> yeah, six and a half now. Just so funny where he, he's the one who died first blood, but he's still yeah. top net worth. It's Prada the core now. Prada just <laughs> on this Viper holding top lane. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good for him to have this very high level support hero and Vitaly can't kill him, then that's an even bigger win here. Unknown. I think they're pretty satisfied with the state of the game right now. Uh, mid laner, you know, you got that solo kill from Rolo Z. He's also going to pick up the Illusion rune now. Wasn't really able to do much with the DD, but that's okay. He already had that one kill onto the Ember. Doom gonna make his way yeah. towards a Midas. They feel no pressure on Unknown whatsoever. Like, they're satisfied with the pace of the game. They're just looking to farm on all their heroes right now. Yeah, that's their natural flow, right? You're kind of aiming... Usually, we'd say with, with Medusa, you're aiming for kind of 20, 25 minutes or so to be actually fully ready and raring to go. Doom, it often feels like, extends that a bit more towards 30-odd minutes. So, I, I, I guess, you know, the first eight, nine minutes here going dead even, not losing out on your laning stage going to be a great morale boost for them. Very interested to see how the Timber Saw is going to play this game. Where is his first move going to be? He's trying to go on this Viper top, but he just drops the ulti, Nanotoxin. Robo Robo Z now even has a chance to kill him. As well. Yeah, Vitaly caught up in that Aether Remnant. Beautiful. The instant TP. Reaction out from the Void Spirit. Oh, no. Catching out the Timber Saw. You were wondering where his next move is going to be. It's to the grave. Back to oh. Fountain. You got me there. And uh, now he has a TP scroll. Where is he going to go next after that then? <laughs> like normally Timber, who's alone like this and has kicked the enemy carry out, can take the tower. But I guess Viper, he wasn't able to do so. Viper dishing out so much magic damage. I thought he was building into a hood with that Ring of Health first purchase. But he went back for the Arcane Boots and still doesn't have that hood yet. Hmm. So what, he comes back up top. Analog is here as well. But yeah, usually it's that tier one top, then you know, Timber Saw plants himself again. mid lane. And is back in that Radiant Jungle bottom. Weird and Sacred, they get the Hex Doom onto the Void. Oh dear, Lumiere, he's got, got some backup coming. A deny maybe? No, God, it can't get it done. Ember Spirit now with a cold feet, but no chains. Trying to slide a fist, there it is. Catch out Sacred, and with El Misho shackling him, they'll at the very least get a trade. Ali. Gonna die top again too. They're just bleeding on Hakori's side now. Timberstar, this is what I was worried about. What's your play? Where are you gonna go to apply some pressure? You can't do anything to this Viper. He goes back top, he just dies again. Your boy dies bottom side. And now they're making a smoke really deep into the enemy jungle, trying to find this Dusa. But do they have enough damage for it? It's a level 9 Medusa. Only one level in mana shield, so you might have enough damage. Yeah, she doesn't have stone gaze either. I'm gonna tank out the Viper the instead, Viper. though. Tank the game. Simple kill. Arcane Rune still going for analog, so he wants to keep this going a bit more. Get the TPs out of unknown as Widge turns the face off against El Misho. Ice Blast won't connect. Serpent Wars dropped in, but in comes the Void Spirit now with the Aether Remnant and analog trying to run it away. Widge doesn't have anything left to disable him and does die in the end. Robo Z holding on towards that remnant, and the Mystic Snake forces him to jump as the actual step finishes him off. Robo Z still low, but he's got to simulate and plenty of spells to play around with. As Vitaly might die here, he's chained forward. He's played aggressively, but more so as unknown. They come back with a Viper. Vitaly, the Mystic Snake, bounces forward. And oh, astral step. another astral oh. step. Robo Z. Not gonna go for it. Thank you. Very I patient. A bit scary. And we look at Lumia. Possibly died. Mm -hmm. Faceless Void comes up here and he wants to use that Chrono. Could, Angel just looking to kill the top creep wave and probably just TP out of here. I don't think he wants to be in this area of the map. I wonder if they know Void's up here because they've got Chrono Ice Blast. Oh, Angel. He spent Angel. too much time. Mana Shield, Stone Gaze. Off we go, speeding away into the trees. And now it's time to TP. You know, he just got that Stone Gaze too. Look yeah. at his XP. He hit 11 just then, and now he is out. All right, time to farm on the bottom side. Any ancient stacks? Yup. 
got one oh, yeah. so far. And Doom, meanwhile, the second carry of Unknown Radiant is not even Void Spirit, just Doom. Just AFK bottom with his Midas and level 3 Devourer at the moment. Radiant and that's the thing, scared. these Hikori, they're, they're, they're smoking. They come into this jungle, but there's no one here. Top lane Viper is caught out by the Ice Vortex and some good damage out of Vitaly. Looking to blow up Prada, but that, that's a position 5 Viper, don't forget. Gardic trading it, still doesn't feel particularly good, while Witch gets shackled up. A buyback back out of Prada now, as the Doom thrown out, Vitaly kills off the line, but Ember Spirit, the bigger target, is slain. Much better for Unknown, as well, they just snap into action so quickly with these buybacks and TPs. El Misho on the run. I don't know what you can do, though. Robozy's going to have a remnant in a sec. I'll slow down the Shadow Shaman and pick him off easy as you like. Uh, Doom now, 5,600 net worth. Yeah, you're right. He's ahead of the void. He's going to have Blink Dagger and 1,000 gold. Huge performance out from Sacred. Yeah, it, it's like you make a play onto top lane and you get one Viper kill, but you still can't take the tower. You get pushed off and all that effort that you did just to get in that position to try and take the objective and you couldn't even do it. Like th Those are the scenarios where you need to assess, okay, can we actually take this tower if we bring everybody there? If you cannot, then you just got to be farming. Get to your levels and try to make some smoke plays and then lead those into objective kills. Oh, they've got such a good read on this. They know that Medusa's going to get gone on. Can yeah. they get to bottom in, in time, stone though? Gaze. I mean, Mana Shield the Stone soon. Gaze. Angel so low. The Ice Blast and the Serpent Ward's going to work. They've taken her down. And a backstab comes in from Robo-Z. And Widge with a finger of death. They blow through El Misho as Timbersaw and Ember Spirit chasing forward towards the Lion. And this was much better from Hikori. Executing exactly. onto that bottom lane. That is so much better. Instead of just running at these objectives mindlessly, just trying to make the plays on unknown Radiant heroes who are just by themselves. For example, like the Doom who was bottom earlier, but this time they catch the Dusa, and the Void is just able to get some free farm top in the meantime. They didn't desperately need that Dusa kill. She was she was to get 18k, sorry, a 8k net worth at 13 minutes before she died. <laughs> 18k? 18k. <laughs> Record breaking. Oh, huge. Yeah, they're still in a position though where Team Unknown just come back to their towers, plonk a couple of heroes in front of them, and no, no matter where you look, you know, Hikori, they need to find big team fights. They need this Chrono Ice Blast. They need two, three kills just to be able to push objectives. Because Shadow Shaman's the only tower push they've really got. When they set up and walk yeah. on cooldown, you got nothing. All the towers are pretty healthy for Unknown too at the moment. It's quite concerning since they're playing against Adusa or Hakori. Angel just stacking camps and farming it up. Got that uh, Sanjin Yasha now. Doom borrowing some with that Devourer. Gets his uh, war stump with a blink dagger and a smoke out from unknown. Here we go once again. I've seen this movie before. You pushed Did not end well for, for Hakori. Let's see how it goes this time. Who gets doomed? Who gets blink stomped? Gardic holding the front line. Robo Z immediate jump with the astral step and Gardic down. Sacred doesn't find the doom target he wanted. Void and Ember Spirit both looking to retreat, but the Yule's up and a stun. Which times it well and the blink wall stop. They don't even need to doom him. Sacred holds his ulti. They do get a good push in towards the mid lane with Serpent Wards and Catapult, but it's going to be defended. Vitaly. A timber chains, but he's still too close to danger. The chain stuns in from the lion and the More doom mana. potentially here. They eat the remnant and Vitaly chain off to the left. They kill the tower. Theban, they got an objective, but they lose they so it. much for it. Look at top. Three heroes to kill the tier one. And top lane, the Chrono, the Dusa. She's caught up here with the shackles and the ice blast. Pagas way too far out in the front. And even with the stone. Oh, oh maybe with the stone gaze. He's out of there. Pagas, he's out of there. Radiant's Not even dead. That was three heroes attack. just unloading all their spells but the Serpent Wards and Radiant they couldn't even kill Angel. They scan. They know. The TP home. Oh, Angel, the sniper, no what? chains. He doesn't oh, launch no. the chains. It comes too late. Analog misses out. Now the blink stomp in. The Doom Sacred finds the Elmi Show Shadow Shaman. Down you go. Tier 1 tower does get picked off by Lumiere. And they've got Sacred here with the Doom ready to go. Guard it. Focused by product, chains onto Robo Z as the Doom turns back towards the AA. But Witch has the Hex. They should have the Doom here. All oh, the chain stuns and the ulti out from Sacred. That'll find the kill they need. Timber chain in. 
clears through the doom and Robo Z. He's got he's got Yules. He'll have to simulate in a second. Self Yules to dodge the timber chain damage whilst Prada is dealing with Lumiere single handedly. Viper against Void and Viper's winning. Viper is winning. Yule is killing him off <laughs> the stun which Viper. misses unfortunately though as Lumiere finds a little hidey hole in the trees. Oh, but he doesn't escape. Robo Z's there and oh, Vitaly trying to trying to mop up the mess that's been created. Very far in Glimmer Cape. The saves come out from the Viper, but dead. 70 seconds on the sidelines. A good ice blast. Back onto the Void Spirit, but he's got that taunt out from the Aether Remnant. Onto the Timber Sword. Jumps away with that final Astral Step. And Winch will also get away there as well. And while that's all happening, Theban, Medusa has been hitting creeps and tower. Yep, the whole time. I mean, she did go back to base first to heal up, but... She's been hitting creeps after that. I'm still shook that the uh, analog didn't launch his searing chains with that slide of fist. He would have surely got that Dusa kill and then everything would have been worth it. Unfortunately, they didn't. They lose the boy too. Did you notice that the Viper is now higher level than the both plus one and the plus two of Hakori? Excuse me? <laughs> He's level 12 on the Viper. What? The Void and Emperor are still level 11. Well, they're about to hit 12 now. It's seven, eight minutes in when I say call Viper. I was, I was, I was joking a little bit, but I, I guess if it works, it works. It's a good catch on top lane, though. Widge killed off a hundred gold short of Blink Dagger. Trying to apply some pressure onto the top side. Tim are going to tank the tower. They really just want Unknown to keep coming and fighting them because they can't just out farm the Dusa with the faces void. The Serpent Wolves doing a bit of chip damage. And Void Spirit looking to make a meal of that top lane fight. He'll come back though and just clear through the wards. And yeah, Medusa's pushed out a number of waves. Bot finds a nice juicy wave mid. This jungle is all guarded and protected for her. And it really does come down to that. You said it when the draft ended. Ease of execution. Radiant knows they can walk it down lanes, but... And when you get pickoffs like this, you'll scepter up. Can he dissimilate or step to the right? No. Shatters to the ice blast. Still with the doom though. Sacred finds it with Widget's finger of death and the shackles cancel. So with Angel arriving, they'll take down El Nisho quite simply while Timber chaining away Vitali stuck up and turned to stone. Another stun that I don't know. Do they, have, do they got the damage to do this? He's got no mana left, so he can't really run away. Back up though, coming in the form of Lumiere with that faceless void. Guarding very low. And they'll have to turn and run. Chrono. Oh, it's used on the Viper. The core Viper Prada, he's dead. But Lumiere has to time walk away. Timbersaw still running low on resources. But tanky enough to withstand the little bits of damage coming through bit by bit from Angel. Yeah, Angel had to show up here because he did not want to just let his team to dry out there. They, Hikoria had just been dumping five heroes into this top lane, trying to do something to bring themselves back into this game as they see the Dusa just constantly farming and unable to bring her down or even gank her. Timbersaw, you know, he got a little bit close, but he's pretty far. He's got that uh, Kaya Sanj, Stasisist, very tanky, lots of healing. He's got to wait for Unknown Angel to hit his item timings. Ag's not complete. So lots more disables going to be coming out from the side of Unknown. Boy's going to hate that. Every, every time I'd, I just look back at El Misho, he's, he's somewhere on the map trying to do something. <laughs> Dead again, Serpent Wards wasted somewhat. Slight chains onto Widge though, so at the very least a trade. Timber Sword, feeling quite bold with his moves, just chaining aggressively. I, I guess one thing to be said is the places in which, <clears throat> excuse me, Hikori are forcing the fights. They're not allowing Unknown to walk down the lanes, right? Tier 1 yeah. mid still standing, tier 1 top still exactly. standing. They are, they are forcing fights in awkward places. They're keeping Unknown's net worth lead, like, kind of... It's kind of plateaued, right? It's been sitting at 6k for about 6 or 7 minutes now. And that's all because of the way that Hakori have been fighting and where, where on the map that they've been doing it. Now, if they let off the pressure that they're doing right now, Unknown are going to start picking up.
Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Has fallen. Your life served no purpose, but your Dusa and Doom have been farming too, like, un unknown, all their cores are just so scary. You have to commit a chrono to kill just one of them, but then now you don't have any disables to kill any of the other cores. You, you need some huge team flight executions coming out from Hakori. Yeah, like really, even, really huge. The Viper, even the support of Unknown, like position 5, he is so hard to kill. 1800 HP with a Glimmer Cape and a Solar Crest. Normally you think, guys, let's just kill the supports first, no, outnumber them, then we can take the team fight. But that's not really that easy in this game with this Viper. The Radiant scan doesn't find anyone. Dire scan on the opposite side. Ooh. Uh, not going to clip onto Elmisha. We're pretty close. Always going to turn red. I have no idea where anyone is. Oh, there is a Dire Ward now spotting Vitaly, though, I guess. So Timbersaw. Showing on the map here. Unknown. With much better ward coverage right now. Radiant Around Roshan. They fallen. see everything coming. And then press forward. Sacred's ready. So is Gardic though, with some vision finally coming out onto his triangle and smoking around it. Lumiere, oh, straight for the course. chrono. Ice blast in, dodges the stun. Robo Z. Self fuels up, but the stone gaze now comes out from Angel. Rubber Z down, and Lumiere with this double damage rune is starting to go to work, but I don't, I don't know, your Timber Sword getting stuck back here. Slices through Widge. Hakas, this Medusa hexed up inside the Serpent Wards and isolated. They've got the Medusa stuck. Can they kill her off though? That is the primary question because they seem to be lacking damage. With Void down, there's not much they can do. Honestly, that was probably one of the best fights that they were going to get. Unknown inside of their vision, two cores getting chronoed. You got at least a void before the Doom popped his BKB and just walked away. It just would have been nice if they had an El Misho Blink Dagger there just to be able to hex the Doom so it doesn't get the BKB off. Because it doesn't get the BKB off, then the Faceless Void can just stand in the ground and fight, not have to worry about the Doom. In the end, they end up losing the void and Unknown just retreats. Reset, wait for their Void Spirit to back up alive, and then probably do the same thing. Just run back at Hokori. What's going to yeah. stop them this time? Just go again. I don't know. Every time this fight, like, like, like you said, it's this, this core mismatch, right? Medusa, Doom, they're farming, they're scaling much better than, than exactly. a Timber Saw could ever dream of. Like when your Timber's top of the net worth compared to your void, uh, Faceless Void and Ember Spirit, something has gone wrong down the road. I do manage to deward that high ground vision that the Dyer had. So at least Roshan is a little more open for Hokori to try and contest. And classic Shadow Shaman things. Hiding in the trees, waiting for something to happen. An unknown. He's gonna push the envelope, force something Blast. to happen they around the pit. It. They know it's happening. That's Ice Blast they down for 30 seconds. Timber got a man on the timber. Mm -hmm. There's a hex and a stun. Roshan about to die. Void Spirit they see just it. towing the line around the side. They know it's happening, but they just can't get in there. Yeah, they had vision inside the pit because the uh, ice vortex. Ember didn't even try to go for a steal there. He was too afraid of a possible Yules or a Remnant and dying. So they just give it up. It is the first Aegis after all. There was no Shard or Cheese there. But that's also going to mean this Deuce can do whatever she wants on the map if she already couldn't do that already. 
Yeah. El Misho gets a, a grand total of 200 damage on that tier 3 top. <laughs> That's just a force heroes back. Buy some time. I guess he got a fair amount of gold from pushing out all those waves. Closing in on his BKB. So eventually he's going to be able to, what, hex and shackle up someone for, for an extended duration. Yeah, ideally it's the Doombringer before he gets the Doom. Like maybe he blinks in, doesn't pop his BKB, you get a nice hex on him. You pop your BKB, then shackle him. Buy enough time, hopefully your Timber can just kill him in that duration. Are you, are you a fan of these Dire Wards, by the way? Uh... Oh, hang, on, hang, hang on a second. Analog... <laughs> Robo seat? Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, oh we're Radiant still gonna move in. Scanning. Parkas and Widge blinking forward on the lion. Man, the remnant out of there. Doom is shadow the bladed with an arcane rune. All committed for the Roshan? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do everything to take Rosh. Roshan is Four like your key to success in life. You kill Rosh, you win game. So let's do it. Four, literally four. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to take Roche, we're going to fly to around Roche. No, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> this, is where, this is where we are. Base camp Roshan. Well, I think El Misho's having fun. They're going to go hack around here with Angel. There's nothing stopping him from doing it. He realizes that Hokori are all just split pushing. They don't want to engage into this Dusa. They just try to, you know, push the wave in. But Sacred, I think he showed on a ward there as he TP'd in. So they know he's here. He's got that Shadow Blade. Oh, oh Lumiere. Can he solo kill the Void? Lumiere. He can, right? No, he can't. He, he needs a Shiva to solo kill him, but he can Doom him and hunt him down. Yeah, pops his BKB. Lotus Orb came just a fraction too late. Some good body blocks, but Robo Z with the spider legs chasing towards Lumiere. The slight chains forcing out the Yorzef, oh, the and they've got that no. finger of death. Sacred gets the final touch, killing off the Faceless Void before the Doom ended, and Robo Z still alive. Oh, no, he's not. Dies to the shaft of the Ice Blast and a turn back onto the Lion. You're trading out this Faceless Void for two of your own heroes while the rest of your squad scrambling. Medusa and Viper miles away, still trying to join in and connect with this battle. Prada. Hexed up and they've got Ember Spirit ready to remnant in. This, this Viper, he's got Glimmer Cape, but he's, he's dead. They stone gaze. Oh, Corey, just run away. Sacred wanting to chase down El Misho. So much damage from that. Shackles and whirling death, though. And Medusa's in a 1v4 now. She'll get one kill and the rest of that just run away. We can't fight her. But they gave up the Viper and the Doom for that Shadow Shaman kill. It just wasn't worth it at all. Hokori making the big plays there. Medusa, you know, she didn't have a way to get to that bottom lane quickly, so she was running across the map. You know, they lose the Void, but they get four kills in return. I think Hakori are going to be pretty happy about that, plus wasting the time on the Aegis. I, I, I really didn't understand the Doom TPing bottom because they could have just went straight to the high ground top lane and forced all of Hakori heroes back since they had the Aegis there. I felt like that that greed, right? That eagerness to, to really stick it to your opponents, get that one big advantage and then go with it. Yeah, they want to get that the, catch, the right, victory. with the Doom. He's got that blink in the Shadow Blade. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to catch these guys. But, you know, Hakori were all set up bottom. Nobody reacted to the top pressure of the Dusa. So it was just a little bit of a misplay, I feel like, on the unknown side. Even though their intentions were good, there was just a better play. Yeah. And it was the easier play as well, right? It was it was the walk yeah. down the lane up to high ground play. Sometimes Level 25 get... Dusa now, Gary. On the next oh, yeah. wave. Oh, yeah. And for Daedalus next, he's going to be... Angel's going to be shredding. And the Void is almost 10,000 gold behind the Dusa. I don't think I've really seen a game where a team has won when there's a 10k difference between the two carries. Bottom tower. That's going to be unless rough, it, man. Unless it's an Alchemist. I, I think... Al oh, it's a Chrono yeah. out from Lumiere onto two. Sacred is BKB, BKB off in first. time, though. Ice Blast is coming, but he gets the Doom out onto the Faceless Void. But Prada... Dunk up on the high ground, just destroyed down by Gardex AA. Ember Spirit's now remnanting forward. They get, get the catch on the Lion. Widge in trouble. The Flamethrower burning him. Lion down to a dominating Ember Spirit. I got a Bash, a Hex. Can Robo Z save the Medusa here? 
Aegis is it's gone. She's got El BKB stone gaze. She turns back onto El Misho. Shadow Shaman, even through his BKB, gets pummeled with the right click damage. And now Robo Z back towards them with wind bursting into Lumiere. Double buybacks were required from Unknown, but I, I, I guess you consider that a team fight victory for them. Medusa's still up and running, and they are charging towards tier twos. I mean, unknown, they may, they might have come ahead this time, but that was a very sloppy move on their end. If I'm Angel, I'm pissed at my team right now because why are they fighting so far away from me? I, You know, this dude is a snail. She's taking the tier 2 tower bottom. That's a big objective. You're going to get the outpost too. So why is your team in the top radiant jungle where the dudes that can't get to you easily? With those two kills or those two buybacks, now... Hokori actually have some kind of a win condition or a way to control the game if they can get the doom kill or the lion kill. Especially in this this really important period where next Roshan, most important objective of the game, right? Yeah. Radiance Middle Tower. Exactly. Not having two buybacks for that. It could be a disaster. You know, we were talking about like there's a 10k difference between the two carries, but what if team with the 10k gold up carry, they don't fight around that hero? Like they just did, then it doesn't really mean much. That's worthless. Does mean though, Angel feeling strong enough just to go and cut and push some of these waves a little further forward. With Corey playing that very tightly grouped move down towards that bottom jungle to retake the outpost. Treasures. And at least one minute for Roshan to respawn as well, so plenty of time here for Unknown to get a firm grasp on the map. <laughs> 34 minutes blocking Ancients, blocking the Dusa Ancients. Oh, with sentries? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's almost got that data list, and she's probably just gonna buy out. There's no reason for Angel to hold buyback or anything. If the Dusa somehow dies in, in this position in the game, then. You've done something horribly wrong. Mm. Get the damage now, burst your opponents first. And they're gonna need to flip the map soon. They're playing in the bottom area, but in 20 seconds, Roshan can start spawning. Shouldn't underestimate Hokori's ability to do Roshan either. So Are they actually gonna take... go high ground now? That's what I was don't, about don't to ask me. you. Like, take, take outpost and go high ground, but do they do it to force TPs back? No. They will move towards Roshan. Yeah. They should smoke up here too. Just let the Dusa hit mid, smoke up, and Dusa's already going to be nearby you. It's got that uh, spider legs as well. So nice, by the way, having spider legs on Dusa, not having to use a boot slot. It's a free slot. Well, one minute for Roche. Pretty, uh, pretty average spawn time. Sacred under that shadow blade. Gonna come out and kill some creeps. And the mirrored positioning here, high ground against high ground around Roshan. They've learned Tom their Outpost lesson, guys. Belongs to They're going together as five. <laughs> this time they enter the enemy triangle area with They've the Dusa. Three lanes pushing in, right? So theoretically, yeah. Unknown are in a way better position pushing Dyer's high ground. Yeah. The waves needed to be cut by Hokori. And that means they're the ones being forced to show out isolated on the map like Vitaly was a oh, second Vitaly. ago. And they're sacred. Straight up with a Doom and a clap down and a Chrono onto Robo Z. The three of them all caught inside. Winch blown up by the Ice Blast. Analog gets the takedown and Prada follows him. They should get the Timbersaw here, but it's cost them a fair amount. The buyback out of Vitaly now as well, while Gardic, oh, chased by Sacred. The Doom is going to be able to finish him off while Medusa, where is she? She's trying to walk around, Sacred. killing off Analog. <laughs> it's a, a decent stone gaze there. Yeah, you're right. There's no buyback on the Ember Spirit. So it's down to Lumia and Vitaly now. Angel. At Medusa with the Scotty facing off against El Misho Shadow Shaman, but they, they're they going high they're ground. Tier three. Yep, they're not they even the going to try and kill the Medusa, they're going barracks. Hokori break up there with the Serpent Wars, all thanks to that El Misho Shadow Shaman. Hokori <laughs> with another great team fight. You saw the Doom going in onto the Timber Star, they dropped the Chrono on the back line, killed the two supports off with the Ice Blast and the Ember, and the Dusa was still running back from the mid lane, Gary. It's another fight, once again, unknown, you know, playing into the Radiant Vision. And Roshan is up, Pace's voice hitting this. They have no and idea this is happening. Ember oh was dead for 80 goodness. seconds, no buyback. Okay, there and it Hikori. is, the scan. Yeah, they scanned it. They at least know. Should be able to stop it. 
Faces void, void spirit. A little back and forth there between the steps and the time walks. Mystic Snake with that Aghanim Scepter. A bit annoying here for the Faceless Void as he BKBs and time walks onto the Prada Viper. Timbersaw's in, but Garlic's down. Prada gone as Vitali helps Lumiere to get that grab. Medusa still standing strong though with these Mystic Snakes, stopping people from maneuvering. And Robo Z with his own BKB. The double mana drain, the sub count, and the finger of death. Lumiere's gone. No buyback on your Faceless Void. Shadow Shaman and AA both pop back to the battle, TPing to the top outpost as well as the Ember Spirit. But Medusa's too strong. Unknown finally fighting around their Gorgon. And Pakath showing how powerful he can be. Great Hex out from Widge. Catch the Ember Spirit up, and robo has got to disengage. Lumiere's returned to the fight after buying back. And they are in a 5v1, basically, because Witch is dead and Pakas is alone. The Medusa. Oh, gets to the low ground, but the shackles and ice blast. They come in with a doom. The doom. Sacred. He bursts down Lumiere. The die back on the void. Now Vitali's the one stranded. Doomed up. Slowed by the Scardi. They couldn't deal with his puck ass Medusa. And they're gonna get the Roshan. My goodness. You know what, Gary? This spider legs is just absolutely busted. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Like, one is giving a free slot to the Medusa for another item. Two, it just like ran around along these trees and hills and her quarry couldn't pin down this Dusa with all the disables that they had she literally fought them off one versus five and now they get the ages shard agonims Jesus. so what we've got shard on the void spirit Sorry, cheese on him Aegis medusa uh, just yeah just shard and cheese why did i say agonims i saw an ags in dusa's backpack and yeah. i was like hmm. yeah she's just holding on to that for now because running out of slots well, it's because it's, it's Aghanim's Shard, Aghanim's Scepter. They're both technically Aghanim's belongings. True, true. And now no buybacks, right? At all on the Radiant. Void, mm -hmm. actually, Void Spirit's the only one with a buyback in the entire game. 35 gold until Viper has his. But Angel, tier 3 down, tier 4's open up. What have we got? 40 seconds for Faceless Void, 60 for Timbersaw. So we're going to have a 3v5 best case scenario here. Ember Spirit looking to cut wave, try and buy as much time as he can, but the silence. Oh, the stun, the catch on to Analog. He's got a slight, but he's dead. A minute and a half, no Ember Spirit now, and unknown, they've got this game in the bag. Robo's D's even going to go diving fountain for them. Got it caught up. Yeah, that dissimilate stun. Beautiful talent out from the Void Spirit. And Pakas just focusing tier fours. Eyes on the objectives. The Radiant Ancient is open. They throw the Serpent Walls to the walls of the Medusa. They've got Shackles on to Prada's Viper. They can't stop the Medusa though. Stone Gaze, BKB, right clicks up as Lumiere gets a Chrono onto a couple, but the Doom comes out. He'll focus in towards Ridge, but oh, Lumiere's is. time is up. Dilate all you want, but it ends here right now. El Misho slain by Robo Z and Pakas will finish the throne. That Dusa had almost twice the net worth of the face of Void at the end of this game. Yeah, I mean, as much as unknown, the other heroes apart from the Dusa try to throw the game by fighting away from the Dusa. This Gorgon is just way too strong. It's just as soon as they were able to play with the Dusa or the Dusa. Dusa was there at the start of the fight. She's able to just destroy everybody. They can't touch her. They can't kill her. Spider legs just running around in the fights. Able to hit whoever she wants. Find the shaman. Find the AA. Doesn't even matter. It's just too farmed. Yeah, I, I, I guess, I mean, in my eyes anyway, the second upset of the day. I mean, you know, Team Unknown, I, I guess with this roster change, it's, it's hard to say. But going by season two standings, Hikori, what, fifth place? While Unknown were down in the bottom two. So, uh... Definitely a change of pace here for the SATI 10 qualifiers as you know, Noping dropped their series earlier on today. And uh, yeah, un un unknown, a very well-deserved series victory, but we'll take a quick break and return after these messages.